What's up everybody? This is Jeff with Beatrice and Yana. I'm back here with another episode. And we are painting the car. So, let's just see here. We got the car lifted up, got the wheels pulled off, and all the panels pulled off and put up on some stands. So, uh, what I did so far, obviously you guys know if this is a new video for you guys. Uh, I repaired this quarter panel here from about, right about there and down. Uh, I didn't do too bad of a job, I guess, but um, not the best I could have done. I didn't have any tools at home to kind of pull the door jam out a little bit because it got pushed in. But it's whatever, it's just a Miata, no one cares. It's kind of hard to see down here, but I left a little gap in between the rocker panel or yeah, rocker panel and the pinch weld. So that way water could uh, drain out if anything got in there, which it does. So, uh, anyway, I'll turn the camera around here and I'll give you guys a quick show. Alright, so what we got going on here is the uh, doors here on the stand. Got the quarter panels or fenders put up on a couple stands, the deck lid, and the other fender. Everything is sanded down with 600 grit on a uh, interface pad, which is a soft foam pad that's about half inch thick, so that way you don't gouge real deep into the primer. Uh, you can see kind of all the little swirly stuff. I've already went ahead and wiped the car down with some uh, wax and grease remover, but I will go back over it with a uh, organic wax and grease remover. It pulls all the organic materials off, like you know oils from your fingers and stupid shit like that so uh anyway i will get back to you guys after i have painted this i forgot to bring my stand and my gopro so i can't video it while i'm painting because i don't have any way of doing that so anyway uh, i'll show you guys what the uh, wax and grease remover is the part number is 1402 for the wax and grease remover and SWX350 is the water cleaner which is the organic stuff. It pulls all the, like I said, organic materials off and no, excuse me, my allergies real bad. But anyway, there we go. So enjoy and next time I see you guys the car and all the pieces will be painted. Stay tuned. What's up everybody, we're back here, and the car is painted, obviously. Uh, I have some issues with the paint that I got. It doesn't want to adhere very well to any of the surfaces. Uh, and kind of see how, there you go, see how it's sagging right there, it looks like little fat rolls. It's not orange peel, it's sagging, because the paint didn't adhere and cure to the primer so well, well there's a lot of spots that came out really clean like uh, this spot up here came out real nice not too much orange peel because it's flat but then on this side there's lots of sagging going on this whole fucking section is just sag See the sides. Nice, huh? There's a whole bunch of it there. Pretty much over the whole top of the wheel arch. And it goes a whole bunch there. And it pretty much starts about right there and goes all the way across. And just sags. Hard to. The reason why I know it's sagging is because when you touch it, you can actually see the paint move back up. So, I'll have to polish it out and go from there. While I was painting it, I had a huge run 
uh, right about in this area. And so I thought maybe I could make the run disappear if you, how they say, run it off the ed panel edge, which means you add more paint to it and then it just looks like it just bleeds off, and which that's what that is. And had a bunch of paint boogies and stuff hanging down. So, um, other than that, it's not too bad. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna clean up the sags. And then here on the passenger door, you can kinda see I got a clear of paint. Got a drip there. And the sag that kinda wiggles around. So I'll have to block those down and shoot some paint right there and have to re clear this whole door. Um, you can kind of see here, anyway, that spot right there is a sag, kind of hard to tell. There you go, you can kind of see it there, with the little fat rolls. And then on the driver's door here, I got a huge paint run right there, and it just kind of goes all the way across. So I'll have to sand that whole section again and repaint. The bad part is I bought a whole gallon of paint, and I ran out. So I have to figure out how to paint match this stuff. So I'm gonna polish polish it I guess and see if a guy at work can paint match it for me and paint it so okay anyway that's what happens when you paint your shit with some single stage and then you don't let it cure for a week before you spray clear you get a bunch of sags I sprayed four four coats of clear on the on this car so I wanted to make sure that I got the orange peel kind of leveled out so I can Polish it nice and smooth, make it look like glass. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, will see you guys soon. Peace.